The Blessing of Perspective It's easy to get wrapped up in the rhythms of life, jobs, family, and social commitments, home, to-do lists, and even time-consuming distractions. We go from one thing to the next, usually focused on earthly demands and pleasures. It can feel like difficult tension sometimes to get through each day with appropriate attention on godly priorities. Thankfully, we're not the first to navigate this. The scripture offers direction. Paul reminded the Colossians to take an eternal perspective, setting their mind on the things above. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 through 2. And just a few verses after the Beautitudes in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus reminds us of precisely that. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew chapter 6, verses 21. Think about it. Consider what it looks like to have an eternal perspective. How can your job, chores, or commute help you focus on things above? As Paul encouraged, what else could you include? Contemplate habits of pra or practices that help you redirect your attention to God's promises, such as worship, prayer, or fasting. How often do you participate in these things? Something to think about. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and like Evangelist Jose Luna. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please do so now. Simply say, Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. I want to go to heaven. Help me live a holy life, and I will do your will as best as I can. God bless you and yours, and you are saved. Amen.